them mofos offered me first 10 percent okay there was like oh two options 10 percent or you'll have to mail it back then i was like no i'm gonna mail it back what's the address then they offered me 30 percent and then i started thinking i said self myself said what's up girl what's going on i'm like Mailing this back might just cost a little bit more than it. What's good, Quarantine Bunnies? I'm Hershey, and welcome back to Hershey's Guide. Okay, y'all. Now, I know it's been a minute. Um, I'm actually multitasking. So, we're going to turn this little check-in, this little bunny conversation into a little mukbang, okay? I door dashed some Indian food because I had a taste for it. Um, These are vegetable... Uh, samosas they have like chickpeas and um, just different veggies in it and then this has like a like a green chutney and then I believe this is like some type of plum chutney okay so we're gonna set this here and I also got lamb hold on one moment lamb biryani Okay, we'll get into this soon. I'm sorry that y'all can't see me dip in action, but like I said, this was kind of spare of the moment. But I'm gonna let y'all have the first bite. Okay, y'all can have the first bite. Hopefully, y'all can see it. And get into my little lead press on nails, child. All of three dollars and some change uh, from the beauty supply store, and I love it. Okay, I feel real banshee, real cunt with these nails. <laughs> Um, let me take a bite. Mmm. Okay. So this is very good. Um, ooh. She likes this. <laughs> when I say she, I mean my fupa. <laughs> she likes this. Um, Okay. All right. This is good. Take a nice little, little another dip, another bite. Take another bite. Mmm. Anywho, um, the industry, music industry, and just celebs are mourning the death of Black Rob, who was in. Um, the hospital earlier this week uh, fighting symptoms of COVID. Um, this comes on the tail end of us losing DMX. I believe Black Rob was 51, DMX was 50. Y'all remember like, whoa, well, that was Black Rob. And make this money, take this money. Y'all remember that song? It's just, life is short. 50 and 51, I know each had different battles um, that caused their demise. But life is so short, y'all. That's why I encourage everyone to just live it the best way that you can and be as happy as you can be because there is no telling when it is your time to, you know, transition this, this life over into, you know, whatever you believe. I encourage all of my bunnies to... Talk to somebody, do something that makes you happy, do something that revitalizes you. If that means disconnecting from social media for a little bit, that might just be necessary, okay? Um, go on walks, you know, read, write, sing, whatever makes you happy, please do so because one, life is short, and two, you do want to have a good quality of life. I'm coming out of my depression, y'all. <laughs> um but this too shall pass and then i have food poisoning or the stomach bug whatever however you want to call it but it was atrocious and so i'm just now getting back to the swing of things of actually eating um i had some pineapple earlier today and then you know this is my dinner but it was no joke no joke and i don't know if this is the bossiness in me the nurse in me or the woman who is also the oldest child in me um 
I feel like I have to check on everything. I feel like everyone's emotions. I, I'm an empath. I, f I feel everyone's emotions and frustrations. And after a while, it bothers me. Like, as much as I say, oh, I'm going to just let this slide. I'm going to it bothers me and it, it starts to build up and I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people that feel me on that you know especially when things aren't going right um with your loved ones people that you care about you start to feel really helpless um and it's just unfortunate because you know some things you can't do anything about you have to just see how things play out um and go from there but what i'm learning is just one day at a time i can't take on everybody's trauma i can't take on everybody's um y'all see me over here struggling because i got these little see i wanted to be fast and put these little nails on child but now i can't even open <laughs> i'm gonna pop these mugs i'm trying to open this dang hold on check a look at this now of course i can't eat all of this because this is a lot of rice and you know I love food, but I still, you know, have to wash, watch my portions because um, this is like the yogurt sauce. Pretty tangy. I just just going to put a little bit on top. Um, and again, this is lamb biryani. Um, it's an Indian dish. Still got to kind of watch it because I am still trying to get myself together physically. I had to take a moment for myself. Something my brother told me was that, listen... This moment right now that you have, do something for you. You off work, right? You off for the weekend, do something for you. Do something that makes you happy, whatever that is. So what I did yesterday was I went to the liquor store. Okay, I got me some rum because I like liquor. Okay, I'm not trying to sound like a lush, but I do like a cocktail or two. Um, I got that. I got some margarita mix too, but that's none of your business. Shout out to Tabitha Brown. Um... I went to the grocery store, got a few things, got some fruits. Fruits always make me feel better. Um, got some sparkling water, as you see. Got my AHA. It's AHA. I like sparkling water because it's like my pop substitute. And yes, I'm from Chicago. I say pop. Um, this one is AHA orange and grapefruit. Zero calories, zero sugars, zero salt. Just a nice little aftertaste. Hold on, I'm going to take a bite of this. This is really good. Mmm. Come on, spices. Mmm. I've got my... Y'all, I'm going to turn to a girl that likes mason jars to drink out of. I've been born and raised in Chicago. And when I tell you the first time I've drinking out of a mason jar... Um, has been like this year. Ain't that? And of course, I love my metal straw. I don't know. Something about a metal straw and a clinking of some ice gives me real bingy. <laughs> like, I know what I'm doing with my life. Like, you listen to this. I am clinking and clacking, and I don't have time for no mess. That's what it gives me. And I got these little press on nails too. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Whew. This is everything. Anywho. So that's what I did yesterday. Went to the store, got some fruits and other stuff that I'll make probably for Sunday dinner. Um, veggies and you know, all that stuff. Came back home. Play my music, talk to my boo, had a nice conversation with him. He always helps calm me down, um, to, um, and just, we vibed all night and enjoyed our evening, honey. Like, 
it was nice. So I'm like, okay, I need to be able to take these breaks, mental breaks when necessary. I also, and this is what I'm telling y'all, I also turned off the notifications to my social media temporarily. I'll go in and every, you know, check, but I don't need to be bombarded with, you know, not stupid stuff. That sounds so mean. I don't need to be bombarded with just stuff that doesn't do anything but kind of adds more stress to me. And it may not be pertaining to me, but if it's underlying stress, I don't need no, no parts of it. I need a, a moment and a break away from that. Um, so I turned those notifications off and yeah, have been enjoying my weekend. Ain't nothing that can't be prayed about or manifested about um, and blessed. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Doing my praying, doing my manifestation, okay? Um, just speaking good positivity and good light into my life and the light, the life of all of my family and friends. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. It seems simple, don't it? <laughs> Sometimes you got to remind yourself. So, that's all I got for y'all tonight. I have to return back to my party. Hold on. That was so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, y'all know what a mukbang is. Like, at least I'm not over here being nasty. I will have a new video for y'all next week. Don't know what it's going to be about. Probably a hair tutorial um, or a hair review on a wig that I bought that I'm pretty excited about. Um, y'all saw the last one. They, and let me tell you something. The mofos offered me first 10%. Okay. There was like, oh, two options, 10% or you'll have to mail it back. Then I was like, no, I'm going to mail it back. What's the address? Then they offered me 30%. And then I started thinking, I said, self, myself said, what's up, girl? What's going on? I'm like, mailing this back might just cost a little bit more than it. You know, by the time I mail it back and do postage and all that stuff, I have to mail it back to China. That postage ain't going to be cheap. And I've been a uh, lost probably the same amount of money I would have had they just gave me my 30%. So I said, come on, give me the 30%. But baby, when I tell you every chance I get, koala lace wigs you will never honey ever see another dime up out of the girl okay you will never ever ever and that video has been doing numbers i want y'all to check it out yes i snatched my wig off because i was that serious about how y'all treated me it was a bald-headed lie a bald-headed lie and y'all tried me but never again i will never buy another item from y'all and i will tell everyone exactly what y'all did to me and i have video proof Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to do another review <laughs> for another piece of hair. I mean, listen, sometimes you got to just try stuff and see how it turns out. Um, I'll have that for you next week. Otherwise, bunnies, y'all take care. Have a beautiful evening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Hershey's Guide. Leave whatever you need to leave in the comments section because, baby, I read it, okay? Good, bad, and the ugly. I read it. So y'all have a good weekend. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.